Just only 13. And just the thought of me seeing him on the floor would never leave my brain. But first, new at five, a heartbreaking story you'll see only on 11 Alive. A mother in disbelief tonight, mourning the loss of her teenage son. He accidentally shot and killed himself live on Instagram. Forest Park police are now investigating while the 13-year-old's parents hope that families can learn from this tragedy. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey spoke to the grieving parents this afternoon. Well, Jeff and Sheba, the 13-year-old's parents tell me they raised their son the right way. They set out to be role models, models, monitored his social media accounts, and kept tabs on who he was friends with. But with all of that, they believe some outside influence still led to tragedy. Malachi Hemphill's parents say they will remember their 13-year-old boy as a talented, smiling young man. You know, it was so much things that he knew how to do that he was good at so well. He didn't know what he wanted to do. But on Monday night, 10 minutes after his mom saw him take out the trash, she heard something terrifying. I heard a big boom. I couldn't tell if it was a gunshot or what. I just knew that it was something that, that was wrong. Inside their Forest Park home, Shaniqua Stevens and her daughter ran upstairs and began yelling for Malachi through his locked door, a door his mom says he never locked. We kicked in the door. We found him just laying there in a the pool of blood. Uh, my daughter screamed and said, Ma, um, turn his phone off. And as I proceeded to look at his phone, he was on Instagram Live. She says she did not know her son was on Instagram Live or that he brought home a gun but believes he got it from a friend. As he showed it off on camera, his mom said he accidentally shot himself. Minutes later, in her front yard, neighborhood children gathered. I guess these were the kids that were watching it on live, that live in the area. Her son later died in the hospital. Now she wants her son's tragic death to force parents to never stop asking questions, to know where their children are and what they're doing. Monitor their phones. Uh, mon just monitor your children more now than anything. And Malachi's stepfather says he worked to be a role model, spoke about wrong and right and making decisions, but he now knows that a wrong influence outside of the home can still lead to heartbreak. It can happen to the, to the, to the, to the best parents that's best to their kids, to the best of, to their ability. It can happen to the best people, the best ones that love their kids. And Forest Park Police today confirmed they are investigating the circumstances that led up to the shooting. The boy's mother tells me detectives are trying to determine how a gun ended up in a child's hands to begin with. The family's holding a vigil outside their home tonight in Forest Park at 730. Jeff. My goodness, such an awful story, Joe. Thank you.